Previously on MasterChef, America's best home cooks threw down in the regional auditions. Hell yeah, the best cooks from the South. I'm here to win. Y'all here for the West? Be the best. And just 20 coveted aprons were handed out. It is an absolute yes from me. Marquise, baby! Welcome to MasterChef. Thank you so much! For me, it's an absolute yes. Yeah! You're exactly what we're looking for. I cannot believe it. <laughs> that is one of the best crab cakes I've ever tasted. Good for you, Mark. We did it. Yes. This is yes. as perfect as we've seen in 13 years on this show. He is deserving of an apron. Yeah. 20 aprons. We did it. Tonight, welcome to the top 20, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Buckle up, the competition kicks off with a big twist. You'll cook alongside everyone else from your home region. The winner will also save their entire region from elimination. We have the Northeast. Let's go. The South. I'm going to make sure they right. The Midwest. Y'all, I'm going to win this challenge. And the West. Let's go, West. Wild, wild, West. I like people to be a little bit afraid of me. Not a lot, but a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. How cool does this look? Yes. We got our top 20. The beginning of a phenomenal season. Four regions, 20 contestants. I think it's going to be the most competitive season in the history of this competition. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome, guys. <laughs> Let's go stay there, baby. It's so incredible to be in the top 20. I've got my white apron. I've worked really hard to get here, and I'm so proud to be representing the West. Line up, line up, line up, line up. Being here could potentially change my life, and that's what I'm ready for. This is MasterChef United Tastes of America. Welcome to the top 20, everyone. Yeah! How does it feel to be representing your regions? It's an honor. It's an honor. It's an honor. It's an honor. It's amazing. Well, you all planted your regional flag across those auditions. And tonight, as you can see by this amazing MasterChef carnival, the fun really begins now. Let's go. Let's go. For tonight's challenge, you'll need to cook us something inspired from a very special event, the State Fair. When I go to state fairs, especially in Iowa, I've got to get that bigger than the bun, Iowa pork tenderloin, have to get a foot-long corn dog. It's going to be fried, and I know it's going to be delicious and terrible for you. <laughs> now, all of you guys hail from different parts of this great nation, but no matter where you're from, your local state fair is probably home to some deliciously insane food. Absolutely. Now, I think it's important to mention this is not an excuse to just deep fry something and call it a day, right? Because whoever cooks the worst dish tonight will be eliminated. You will have access to all of the ingredients in the beautiful MasterChef pantry. Everything that you will need to cook an elevated version of classic state fair food. But all of you, before you take a trip on this roller coaster of a challenge, it's time to talk about this season's massive twist. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. We want to learn how the place that you call home has really influenced your food. So, starting from tonight, you'll cook alongside everyone else from your home region. Yes, yeah, dude, this is the team right here, okay? We have the Northeast. Yeah. <laughs> The South. The Midwest. And the West. The competition is on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Now, each night, whoever cooks the best dish will earn the MasterChef immunity pin. This means you'll be safe from elimination in the next challenge. Wow. Okay. Yes. But here's the kicker. The winner of this pin will also save 
their entire region from elimination that night. We're taking it. Let's take it. Come on, baby. Mark my words. This will be the most strategic season of MasterChef ever. Oh, we got this, baby. We got this. Even if I'm not the one getting the immunity pin, that's OK, because I can still benefit from it. We just have to have one cook from the South, win the challenge, and save the whole region from elimination. That's a big deal. Here's the good news. Tonight, you'll have 60 minutes to cook an elevated dish inspired by state fair food. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Now, it's time to find out which region is going to start out strong and which region will say goodbye to their first home cook tonight. No, no. no, no. Right, everybody ready? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> Your time starts. Let's go, guys. Yeah. I see how it's going to be. Oh, look at this. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. OK, I got a corn. Parmesan, Parmesan. Ooh, OK. A tomato. I don't really do carnival stuff. I, I mean, I love a hot dog, but I'm not trying to serve Gordon Ramsay a hot dog. Cayenne, cayenne, cayenne. But I believe that the South will succeed in this challenge because we know how to bring out flavors. I'm good to go. And put things together in a very elevated way. Sugar, I have my vinegar. Heck, I just don't want to be in the bottom. So I got to put myself and my region on a plate. OK. Let's go, come on. Damn, time is flying. Let's go, Northeast. You already know. Rich, what do you say? What do you say, Rich? I say Northeast is the best, my guy. You already know. Let's go Midwest. Let's go Midwest. Let's go, guys. Breathe. I am making an incredible pumpkin risotto where I'm from in Ohio. We have this fair called the Circleville Pumpkin Festival. It's been going on since like 1903. And I'm going to top it with the butter poached lobster to elevate it. I love this uh, plot twist this year with the immunity pin because I plan to win it for my team today. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Wayne. yeah, buddy. I don't know about that, Wayne. The South is talking trash already. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, West. All right, let's make the marinade. Today, I'm making my rendition of the slopper, basically just a cheeseburger that's covered in green chili. And this is from Pueblo State Fair in Colorado. We love green chili and everything, so hopefully it turns out as great as I think. A regional rumble, how exciting is this? What a way to kick off season 13. State fair food could be interpreted in so many different ways, so we're gonna really see who they are as cooks in this first challenge. Come on, man. This has gotta be the toughest challenge we've ever kicked the season off with. Yeah. You gotta take that food and kind of mm -hmm. use your chef mind to reinterpret. Sure, it's gonna be exciting. Shall we? Yep, guys, let's do it. Well, let's go. Let's go, West. When I think of county fairs, I think of food that I typically would not eat. It's not really my thing. So today, I'm going to go a different way because I'm very into eating healthy and a healthy lifestyle. Hi, Amanda. Hello, Miss Amanda. What are you How making? Are you? Southern Californians love Mexican food. So I am making fish tacos. You know, the idea of a taco could be something very simple, very straightforward. What is That's your approach true. to the elevation factor? Yeah, good my question. My approach is I'm going to do it two ways, kind of like my interpretation of that red and green sauce. I'm going to roast the fish and keep it nice and moist. And I'm going to make my own tortillas. So, OK. Um, That's, That's pretty impressive. ambitious, and I like the way that sounds. It makes me a little nervous. Are you out of your wheelhouse a little bit, Amanda, with this? Way out of my wheelhouse, way out. So you're going the route of big risk, big reward. Exactly. Hopefully, the risk pays off. Good luck. Exactly. Don't make it too thick, please, Amanda. I'm going to try this Mexican dish because, ah, oh, shoot. I'm not ready to go back and be a stay-at-home mom. I love my kids so much, but this is everything I've ever wanted, and I just got my apron. I do not want to give it back. Come on, come on. Richie, right, tell me about the dish. Uh, how does it relate to that state fair? I live in the area right outside of DC. There's a lot of different foods from a lot of places. Sure. But what always stuck out to me are the fried cheesecake bites. So I'm going to be doing deconstructed cheesecake with a candied bacon twill. So definitely elevated, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. What do it mean tonight, getting out the gate strong and landing that immunity pin and taking the whole Northeast up to the balcony? I will show that the Northeast is here to win, the Northeast mm -hmm. is strong, and that we have a lot more flavor than people give us credit for. I think sometimes the Northeast can get overlooked as a region, sure. but we're going to rock it today. Good luck. So the challenge today is to make something as simple as an elevated state fair dish. 
In the beginning, you get an idea and you think you know where you're going, but you're taking fair foods and you're trying to elevate them to a level that they've never been before. Once you're in that kitchen and the clock is running, then you realize it is not as easy as you think it's gonna be. Oh, son of Being a music producer, I have so much to prove as a home cook. This food dream can't happen without MasterChef, so I gotta make sure I get everything right, because if anything goes wrong, that could be your apron. Guys, 20 minutes gone, 40 minutes remaining. Ooh, how's my team doing? You guys good? Yeah, we're good. good. All right, let me know. The West, the Midwest, the South, and the Northeast. How do you think they'll manage region by region? You have other four people that are counting on everything that you're doing. That's a lot of pressure. Let's do this, Northeast. That's what I like to hear. Let's go. Behind every dish, you've got that chance of actually taking you and your region up to the safety of the balcony. But it's still an individual competition. You've got to save yourself first. Woo! Go West. Hey, that looking like butter. <laughs> I wanted this aioli to be the bomb. This cook is going to show the other regions why we the west side and why we the best side. Woo! Oh, Kennedy, that looks so good. Thank you. We barbecuing today. Kennedy is a very heavy hitter on game meat. Yes. Lizzie is good with seafood. Huh. MD is bringing them Hawaiian flavor. Let's get it, West. Amanda is bringing a lot of healthy, fresh California ingredients. And me, you know what I'm bringing from Oregon? Woo! Fresh mushrooms in here. I've been to the Mushroom Festival in Portland, and I'm a mushroom jerky manufacturer, so I got to show the judges what I can do. James, how are you, my friend? I'm doing good. What are you how making? You doing? I'm making a Mushroom Festival burger. You're going to mix mushrooms into the ground beef? I got a little bit of this mushroom powder. I just grind it up. I'm going to add that to the beef. Dried like this, that's okay. very, very strong umami. You might yeah. want to just put this in some water, let it mm -hmm. soak, and then it's going to take a lot of the edge off. It's a great strategy. It'll elevate, but yeah. be careful. Gotcha. Good luck. Thank you. How y'all feeling, Northeast? Very good. Good, Very good. good. Yes. Rhode Island Fair Food is all of the clam chowder at every festival. So today I'm making a New England style clam chowder. I'm so excited about the twist this season. Just looking at my group, there's so many different styles of cooking, which is a great microcosm of what the Northeast is. Nina. Hi. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm a little nervous. I think it'll shake off and I'll be all right. Give me an insight to that state fair experience. What was it like? Anywhere you go to a state fair in the state of Maine, a fried fish sandwich is going to be ubiquitous. We're right on the ocean. We get all the good seafood. Sure. So I'm doing a fried cod sandwich. I'm going to do a salt and vinegar potato chip. Good. Now you're going to cook the cod. And I'm going to deep fry it and with some club soda, make sure it gets all fluffy and puffy. Mm -hmm. What would it mean in Munich tonight? What would that say about the Northeast? I think that would set us on the path of being people to be feared. <laughs> I like people to be a little bit afraid of me. Not a lot, but a little bit. Good luck. Elevate that plating, Thank yes? Thank you. Yes. How you doing, hon? We're fine. We're doing just fine. Ooh. Okay. How we perfect. doing? How we doing? This perfect. This perfect. You got it, Colby. I am making a savory tomato pie. We have this amazing pink tomato festival in Arkansas. I'm a mom of six kids, and so my kids have grown up going to our county fair. So I'm so excited to see what our southern region today is going to pull together for you all. Let's start my chicken. Reagan. Hi. How are you? How oh, wonderful. How are you today? Oh, good indeed, thank you. Good. Right, um, take me back. It's the first memory of that state fair. So, you know, we live in Louisiana. So I'm actually doing a take on the fried chicken festival. Right. And so I'm doing a pine chicken with a crab lemon butter sauce over some mashed potatoes. You can see the competition is going up a notch already. Where do you think the South sits currently? What we have here is a great group of people that know flavor. Mm. They also know plating. And I'm going to yeah. bring it all together. I'm going to make sure they're right. Watch the cook in that chicken. Good yes. luck. Thank yes. you so much, sir. We still got 33 minutes, South. We good. We're we good. good. We good. Come on, let me hear you louder right. than that. How y'all doing, Northeast? All right, all right, all right. Let's get it! Yeah! A lot of the other regions are noisy. <laughs> they, they are showing off and they're talking a lot. Let's go, West! Wild, wild, West! But I think the Midwest has an advantage in this challenge. Hey, Midwest, take a deep breath. We got this. We know how to cook fair food. Hey, man, <laughs> we were born for this. We are the king of state fairs. We have the pigs and the cows and the milk. We know how to eat. I'm so proud to be here representing the Midwest, and we have a super solid team of chefs that I think are going to go really far in this competition. Hello, Hi, gentlemen. Se Senor Kyle, how what do we got you? going on here, buddy? I am taking you guys to Minnesota. I am representing Kansas City, but I work for a brewery based in Minneapolis. I've been to the State Fair a bunch. 
I think it's really cute that a lot of the competitors think that their hometowns have the best state fairs. The state fair in Minnesota is actually the like premier culinary event in the country. Says who? who? Says who? Yeah, yeah. Says me. I'm okay. going to prove it. What's the dish? My favorite dish up north is walleye fries, so I'm trying to elevate it. I'm going to deep fry some lobster, and you're going to get fennel, apple, celery, salad. Lobster you... fries, basically? Yeah. In so a batter? We call them fries. It's just strips of stuff that have been deep fried. Have cool. you ever fried lobster before? I haven't. We're about to find out, huh? A lot could go wrong because this lobster can dry out quickly, could get stringy, could be raw. Yeah. And if you've never done it before, do you think it's a good idea? Uh, I haven't ever beer battered lobster, but I've beer battered a lot of fish. I have some confidence that you're going to be impressed with what happens at the end of this cook. Yeah. Okay, I hope so. Me too, man. Good Me luck. too. Guys, coming up to halfway. 30 minutes remaining. Let's go. Wow, this is exciting. You make mama proud, okay? I love you very much. Good job. Oh, nice little acidity. Richie, representing the Northeast, he's done almost like a sort of sweet and savory. So it's a cheesecake filling with caramelized bacon. Oh, sticky. There's some great flavor there, but I'm not too sure at this stage how it's going to be elevated. It sounds a little pedestrian. It needs to be flushed out with a base. Yep. Yeah. I don't think he has a clear idea. No. It's a little bit mixed up. OK, I'm trying to get this one to puff up. Come on, you're doing it. So Amanda, being from Los Angeles, she's doing a baked fish taco. Yeah. Wow. And she's making her own tortillas. And I'm concerned. It takes years to perfect the art of making tortillas. Yeah. And you're just going to jump in there? Come on. My biggest question is, how are you going to elevate that? Because yeah. it sounds like a, a sort of attack you can get anywhere. Yeah. It has to be perfect Yep. at that point. It is very strong. So I made it almost like a paste. Nice. With the West, we have James, who's doing a mushroom burger. So he's got wow. porcini powder in the meat. He's the mushroom man. Perfect. But. Porcini powder is very, very strong. I recommend that he dilute it a little bit to yeah. take that edge off yeah. so you can get the umami from the porcini without all that funk. We'll see what happens there. Oh, this beer batter is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were questioning me. Did you hear that? Have they been to Missouri? <laughs> Have they been to Missouri? <laughs> so Kyle from the Midwest, he's going to make lobster fries. Yep. Wow. He's going to do a beer batter on lobster. I told him lobster's big risk. Comes out raw, stringy, undercooked, overcooked. I see a lot of risks in that dish. Wow. Yep. OK. Joe's concerned about the texture. Three and a half minutes. I know that there's going to be a very small window where the beer batter's crispy enough and the lobster isn't overcooked. I'm taking a lot of risks here, but I think you have to in the MasterChef kitchen. I know I've got the Midwest region relying on me and I'm relying on them. <sighs> Calm down, take a deep breath. All I can do is use my instincts and cook it the best way I know how. Um, Remaining. Let's go. Let's go, go baby. Midwest. Good, we're good. Yep. Yes. All right, you guys. Come on, South. We got it. At any state fair in Alabama, you're gonna have barbecue. So I'm doing a barbecue sandwich with pork tenderloin over a Johnny cake with a blackberry barbecue sauce. So I'm really taking the simple version of a barbecue sandwich up to another level. Rocking and a rolling. When I go to state fair. I'm not normally eating. I am competing. I've done a lot of competition cooking and barbecues, but I'm used to 24 hours of cooking, and I got to condense it down to 60 minutes. It's a challenge, that's for sure. I really just want to make sure that I have enough elements on this dish to separate myself from the rest of this competition. Right, uh, Kendall, how Hello, are you doing? sir. How are you doing? All good indeed. How are you feeling? I'm pretty confident. So back home, we eat chicken on a stick. Right. The first uh, barbecue festival I ever went to, that's one of the things that we eat. So how are you going to elevate that chicken on a stick? We're going to do an herby buttered chicken on a stick with a fried potato ball with some bacon wrapped asparagus. And I think we're going to take it to the next level. It's a lot going on there. The elevation, how are we going to plate this thing to sort of rest and quality? I've got all different textures. I've got colors. And I feel like I've got a balanced dish up and down. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Yes. Hey, does anybody in the Midwest have sugar? I got you. I got brown Literally potato. just a pinch. Thank you. Look at that Midwest love. Midwest love. Right. You good, Wayne? Good, man. Good. Hey, Wayne. Hey, how's it going? What are you making? I am making a beautiful roasted pumpkin. Risotto. 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 Have you ever watched MasterChef before? <laughs> Maybe once <laughs> or twice. It's one of the most difficult dishes because it's so hard to make, and we're yeah. very critical. Yeah, well, look. So why I'm risotto? A, I'm a competitive baseball player, mm -hmm. and I believe if you're going to step into the box, you try to make hard contact. You're swinging for the fences. Yeah, I'm going to win this challenge. Where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. 
One of the biggest fairs we have is actually the Circleville Pumpkin Festival. It's pumpkin everything. So the risotto is going to be flavored with pumpkin. Pumpkin, yeah. I'm going to bring right. it today. All right. I'll well, look forward to it, guys. Good good best luck, of luck, Wayne. Wayne. Thank you. My strategy in this challenge is to win that immunity pin. Now we just got to let the risotto make love to the pan. In business, I've always taken risks, and I thrive in high-pressure situations. So I don't want to lose and embarrass myself or my region. Last five, guys. Five minutes to go. Let's get it. Let's do this, guys. Everybody looking good? We ready. Got it. How you looking, Rich? Just waiting on this bacon to get crispy, baby. I'm somewhat concerned about Richie, because with only five minutes left, that's as far as he's got with that dish. Come on, now. Time right now is not his friend. Everybody taste your food. Make sure everything's seasoned properly. Now let's talk about the South. So Kendall, he's going to do a uh, herb butter roasted chicken skewers. Like chicken on a stick, yeah. basically elevated. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly that. So it's a smart idea, but there's a lot going on there. It's chicken on a stick, potato croquettes, and bacon-wrapped asparagus. He seems like he has a lot of elements on his dish. What's the hero? Yeah. Oh, man. I have crunch will not come out of this. Wayne is from Ohio, and he went to a pumpkin festival, basically. So he's taken that, and he's going to make an Italian-style risotto with pumpkin. Wow. And he's going to gild it with lobster. Risotto is high risk dip. It has to be perfect. Yep. yep. We're down to the last two minutes. Start plating. Let's Start go. Start playing, everyone. Let's go. Woo! Let's go, West. Let's go. Lizzie, let me know if you need anything. I'm just finishing my plate. You guys, how do you feel? Wayne, you got it? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go time. 60 seconds, let's go. It should look phenomenal, everyone. Come on, stop, y'all got it. Rally, rally, rally. Let's go. Come on, baby, come on. 30 seconds to go. 30, you heard? It has to be on the plate, everyone. Perfect, let's go, come on. Come on, Midwest, let's go. Finesse, 10, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, eight. six, Five, go Northeast. Four, Ay, yeah, yeah. three, Woo. two, Woo. one, hands Woo. in the air. Woo. Woo. Man. Let's go, Wes! Go, 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 baby. West, 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 west. Man, I'm proud of that myself. That was brutal. <laughs> I wanted to do chips on it, but now I'm making me second guess. <sighs> Ain't quite what I wanted, but. No, no, I'm so proud of you. There you go. I am nervous right now. I'm a little concerned that the risotto is still a little bit crunchy. Whew. I've got Joe standing up there. The standards are super, super high. If I were eliminated first, it would be soul crushing. I'm mortified by that prospect. Well, let's hope one of us uh, wins that pin, huh? I know. I hope so. Right, tonight, we asked you to make an elevated version of a classic fair food. Now, Joe, Aron, and myself need to take one last close look at all your dishes. Uh, Richie, um, plating-wise, um, happy with the sort of minimalistic part on there? I wanted it to feel like the fair where it's shareable foods. Nina. Are you happy with the color on the chips and they're well seasoned? They are well seasoned. Extra salt for Joe. <laughs> the right amount is all I require. The judges are very intimidating, so I'm starting to get a little nervous. Your heart is pounding. You're sweating. It's scary. You tasted that? Yes. Tastes right to you? I, it, it could be better. Was the lobster poached beforehand? It was not. So you cooked it from raw? I did, yeah. The concern is that the judges might think that your dish, it's not representative of a state fair. Reagan, do you feel that you've done justice to your region? I absolutely do. Or it's not elevated enough. James, are you happy with the way that the mushroom flavor came out? Uh, this is good. You have no idea what they're thinking. Lizzie, so these shrimps, you cook them in the pan, right? Yes, sir. You're just hoping that they like it. Do you feel that you've elevated the taco? I do. And I'm happy with the tortillas. Mm. Some absolutely brilliant dishes out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really inspired cooking. Some individuals really understood the challenge and others that missed by a mile. Right, well done. We're going to be tasting the best dish from every region. 
the winning home cook will then win that elusive immunity pin, which will keep them safe from elimination next week, and more importantly, keep their entire region safe from elimination tonight. But if you're from one of those other three regions, buckle up, because you may be going home. Now, Joe, Arun, and myself are going to highlight the best dish from each region. The first dish we're really excited to taste more of is from the Northeast. They did an incredible elevation of a classic sandwich. Please step down. Nina. Good job. Good job, Nina. Yeah. I feel super pumped. Of course, I haven't seen the other three amazing dishes yet, but I think I have a really good chance to win the immunity pin for the Northeast. Nina, describe the dish, please. You would be hard pressed to find a fair anywhere in the Northeast that did not have a fried fish sandwich. So I made a bourbon and hot sauce fried fish sandwich with a garlic lemon aioli, side of salt and vinegar potato chips, and a lemon tahini slaw. Look, it looks spot on, the balance of everything. I mean, it's just top notch. Thank you. Shall we, guys? Yes. Yep. Um, fish is cooked beautifully. And even after sitting in between those slices of bun, it's incredibly crisp. Um, it is absolutely up there. Great job. Thank you. It just has super high marks for me. The star is actually the dressing of the sandwich. It really doesn't take away from the crispiness of the actual fish, and that, that's hard to do. The fish sandwich has its own level of acidity and creaminess. It's the kind of dish I would, I would happily pay 24 bucks for, and that's the biggest compliment I could pay you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Well done. Nina. The second dish that we would like to taste is from the South. It featured absolute perfect seasoning. So please come forward. Reagan. I think the judges are going to say that this dish has plenty of flavor. The crunch on that chicken is perfect. I know they're going to love that. I would love to get a pin, and I think this dish can do that. Reagan, please uh, describe your dish. We have festivals in New Orleans, so I chose the Fried Chicken Festival because it's black owned, and so I want to make sure I highlight that. I made a pine chicken breast with a lemon butter crab sauce over garlic mashed potatoes and a deconstructed hot sauce. I appreciate the fact that you were bold and said, you know what, I'm going to do that gilding of the crab meat, because that's very typical in New Orleans. I'm interested to see how everything mingles. Um, chicken is cooked beautifully. It's moist, it's juicy, it's succulent. But the real joy here is just the seasoning in that panne. And the harmony of those flavors is beautiful, so pretty good job. Thank you so much. The chicken and that sauce and the seasoning in the fry all day long. Thank you, sir. Everything about this dish is spot on, and it's a dish that you want to eat all of. Good job. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, right there. Good job, right there. The next dish we want to taste is from the Midwest. It was cooked by a gentleman who made great use of lobster. Please come forward. Kyle. Go, Kyle. Go, Go Kyle. Kyle. Get that done for us. Yeah. Get it. It is an amazing feeling. I'm just taking deep breaths. <laughs> I'm trying to control myself. And all I can think about is I hope they like it as much as I do. I made beer-battered lobster fries with a fennel slaw that I made a lemon tarragon beer vinaigrette for. I have to say, of the dishes tonight from a state fair, this is the dish that most closely really gets to a professionally prepared restaurant dish. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Shall we? I'm always nervous when you cook from raw because the lobster tends to come rubbery, but lobster's delicious. Batter just crisp and melts in your mouth. I don't know if you actually understand how hard it is to accomplish fried lobster, but you've done it beautifully. It's Master Chef, Gordon. I'm here to play. Here's a subtle thing that you did that I think is really neat. Tarragon and lobster go beautiful. So when I get a little bite of that tarragon and that crispy sort of rich lobster, 
it just makes for a beautiful bite. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, you had great seasoning everywhere, good acidity, good creaminess, good contrasts. It's about as good as it gets. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Kyle. 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 Good job, guys. Good job. The final dish, of course, hails from the West. This dish shows tremendous depth of flavor. Please step forward. James. I'm feeling excited that I'm in the top four right now. I can save my region and get that immunity pin. But it's nerve-wracking standing stand in front of the judges. Anybody tell you the piece of cake is not. OK, James, what's the dish? The dish is a mushroom festival burger and a nice garlic aioli, some arugula, some wild mushrooms, and finish it off with caramelized onions. It screams, dive in and eat me. Let's do that, shall we? Ooh. I don't know what to say, perfection. I have no wow. comment. It's, it's really that good. For me, I just think the magic in this burger lies in that everything is in balance. Uh, mushrooms, especially when you were using powder, that can totally obliterate the, the, the natural essence of the beef, and it didn't. Yes, chef. This burger's got attitude. You know, the blend of the paddy with a ratio of fat to beef, absolutely spot on. The cook is exceptional, OK? And trust me, I know a good burger a mile away. Well done. Step down. Good job. Good job. Woo! All of you, please give us a moment. Excuse us. So, Nina, fish sandwich. How crisp was that batter? No, Very good. The dressing, it wasn't overpowering. It didn't dominate. The lobster? Yeah. Real restaurant dish. I was amazed how crispy it was. Burnt yeah. chicken, top notch. Maybe a little bit too homey for me. Burger. Oh, it's a burger, come on. Yeah, exceptional. This is too much. So all in agreement, then? Yeah. yeah. Shall we? All right, guys, good luck. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Nina, Reagan, Carl, James, well done. But tonight's best dish was cooked by... <laughs> Nina, Reagan, Carl, James. Tonight's best dish was cooked by... And the immunity pin goes to... Kyle. Oh. Yeah, Midwest. Everybody else, please return to your stations. Kyle, exceptional. Come up here and get your immunity pin. Wow. First pin of the season. Really well done. Thank you. Which means tonight, you and the whole of the Midwest are safe from elimination. Awesome. All of you, make your way up to the balcony with your team. Look at that! I came here to win. I came here to prove that I'm a great chef. I think the other people on the Midwest team are pretty happy I got this. I love the fact that I was able to give them immunity tonight. Wayne, uh, FYI, that risotto was not on point tonight. It was wrong on every aspect, and you certainly would have been in the bottom. So you can thank your teammate, Kyle, for your spot on the balcony. Skills. Right. It won't happen again. You're all right. There was a chance that I could have been going home if Kyle hadn't saved me. And so I'm realizing that this immunity pin is going to make all the difference this season. Now, there is one dish from each region that really missed the bar tonight. First dish from the Northeast. This dish started out as a good idea, but the final execution was just off balance. Please come forward. Richie. I know the plating might not be the best, but I know those flavors are there. That cheesecake cream is delicious. The candied bacon is amazing. And I'm hoping that those flavors are what saves me today. So, Richie, describe the dish, please. I made a deconstructed cheesecake with mascarpone crema, a graham cracker crust with a berry compote, and a candied bacon twill. This is disappointing. This is Master Chef. And I'm looking at this, and I just can't see State Fair realized. I just see garnishes. You understand what I'm saying? Fair. Shall we?
the, the bacon's delicious. I love that with that cheesecake texture. That, that is absolutely spot on. Thank you. But I suppose what I want to see is it elevated into a dish. Had you put a little pound cake or something in the middle with all of this exterior goodness, we wouldn't be even talking right now. And at this stage of the competition, you cannot play it safe. I think with this dish, you're not even playing the game. You didn't listen to what we asked for today. This dish would make an excellent ice cream topping. It's not a dish. Thanks, Richard. Thank you. Step back, please. Thank you. OK, the second dish we need to taste is from the South. It's from a cook who concerned us with both their seasoning and their plating. Kendall. I feel like I just got my apron. There's no way I want to be the first one eliminated. I'm just hoping that I can survive another week and prove myself. All right, tell us what this dish is. In our local county fair, we walk around eating the chicken on a stick. So I made a herb roasted chicken kebab with a potato croquette and a bacon wrapped asparagus. Is the proportion of each item intentional or is it just kind of random? Just kind of random. I really and truly kind of threw it together at the end. You can definitely see that. Yes, sir. Shall we? The cook on the chicken is delicious. But, you know, when you get a chance to make a croquette, put some bacon and cheese in the center so it's a, an exceptional croquette. Yes, sir. I think those croquettes are crispy on the outside, but zero seasoning, which is very unsouthernly of you. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. I like the seasoning on the kebabs. That was the seasoning they should have applied to the actual croquettes. Um, but just clunky all the way around. I think you lost your vision for what it might have been. It's not terrible. I would eat it but uh, it's lacking in opinion. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so the final dish that we would like to taste is from the West. It comes from a young lady who unfortunately did not elevate beyond the expectations. Please come forward, Amanda. I'm not surprised that I'm in the bottom. I went way out of my comfort zone. I cooked something I've never cooked before. Oh no, she's serving a taco to her own. In my heart, I knew I should have just stuck with what I know. Amanda, can you please give us a description of your dish? I made roasted cod fish tacos with homemade tortillas. One is a very fresh green sauce, and one is a very spicy red sauce. I made them because in California, you can't go to a fair without seeing tacos everywhere. I appreciate the fact that you want the homemade tortilla and the two different sauces, but I can nip outside and 300 meters down the road, I can buy one at $3 that will look better than those. Wow, they just look sad. Amanda, they just look sad. Wow. Shall we? Amanda, just sticking the fish in the oven and baking it is not the smartest way of cooking fish. So sadly, my tortilla was very thick, very dry. It needs at least some color on there. It's just sort of floury and doughy. There's no acidity, there's no slaw, there's, there's no heat. Knowing what you stood for, I I'm should thinking, have just done my... I'll just quickly finish my sentence, please. I'm thinking back to the audition mm -hmm. and the wow factor. I think you've gone down a notch. It's just a matter of mis-execution. I think tacos can be elevated. Sadly, this is not it. And there's just pico de gallo, which is very rudimentary. There's crema. The seasoning on the fish is, is really well done, actually, but just not hitting the mark on, on, on multiple levels. It's not like a terrible dish. If I came to your house, you gave me that. You said you cook tacos for the first time. I said they were good because I'm polite. This might be Amanda does tacos for the first time, and that's great, but that's not what we want. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say, that's just the truth. Thank, Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Richie, Kendall, Amanda, we need a very serious moment, please. Um, excuse us. All right, guys. Talking about Kendall, I mean, look, 
Chicken on a stick is something iconic in the South. Not like that. The chicken should have been in the center of the dish. Amanda's tacos were tough. You would never bake a taco. No. Never. There you well, go. A lot of mistakes there. Yeah. Richie's, was that a completed dish or was it a... No, it was, no. An, it was just an idea. So we're we all in agreement? Yes. Richie, Kendall and Amanda, all three of you really disappointed us tonight and more importantly, you let yourselves down and your region. We've come to a decision. This is never easy. The home cook that will be leaving MasterChef tonight is... Amanda. Richie, Kendall, say goodbye to Amanda and head back to your stations, please. So proud of you. Amanda, tonight's objective was to innovate and elevate. And unfortunately, that dish really did miss the mark. Please say goodbye to your region's teammates and drop your apron on your stove, please. Thank you, Amanda. We love you, Amanda. I'm very sad to be the first one eliminated. I really saw myself going a lot farther than this. Even though my journey ended early, I still know I can cook. I still know that I have a lot to prove the world. Thank you, Amanda. Bye, guys. And I'm going to do that. Next time on MasterChef, the first mystery box of the season is as American as <laughs> apples. And the tactics begin. Carl, you get to pick what kind of dish each region cooks. I'm excited to make them a little less comfortable. Go. As the cooks battle for the home region. You good? Definitely not in my wheelhouse. Oh, great. Not gonna let you down again. Did you put salt instead of sugar on them? <laughs> the only thing worse than the dish is lying to us. I hate being lied to. One potato, two potato.